Maryland resident and anesthesiologist Leah Stern has been in love with knitting as long as she can remember. Then she saw a little green knit sweater displayed at the Holocaust museums in an exhibition dedicated to children who escaped from the Nazis. As a long, long time knitter, uh, I saw that this was a pattern that I'd never seen before. It was a bit unusual. It was clearly a child sweater. The sweater was knitted in the late 1930s for young Christina Heger by her grandmother. When the Nazis occupied what is now Lviv, Ukraine in 1941, the young girl spent more than a year hiding with her family in the city sewers trying to stay safe. Later, Heger would write a book about that experience called The Girl in the Green Sweater. When Stern read it, she decided to recreate the sweater, so she approached the Holocaust Museum curator in Washington, D.C. When she first approached the museum, I thought it was unusual, but we pulled the sweater so she could look at the sweater, take photographs, and really part of it is that she needed to create a pattern. Stern spent hours in libraries and archives. It took her over six months to create a pattern with a few copies of the sweater. Stern's action started a sort of a movement around the world with people in different countries knitting the same green sweater and later selling it, donating all the proceeds to the Holocaust Museum's foundation. Someday, you know, this question will come up. Mom or grandma, you know, you knit this sweater for me when I was little. What, you know, why did you knit this particular sweater? What does it mean? You know, when we think about the children who were hidden during the Holocaust, it was a horrible situation for them. A lot of them came out with traumatic memories. Some of them came out with no memories. Christina Heger immigrated to the U.S. decades ago. She lives in Long Island, New York. She's now almost 90 and rarely talks to journalists due to health issues. But she still keeps a green sweater with her, a new one, tucked safely behind glass. Ksenia Turkova for VOA News, Washington.